I'm Dr. Ray Fabius, uh, the new Chief Medical Officer for Thomson Reuters, and I'm here today at the uh, Aspen Idea Festival in Aspen, Colorado. Uh, I am so fortunate to have uh, been given this opportunity to serve Thomson Reuters in a number of capacities, one of which is thought leadership, and that's the reason I'm at the festival today. But I'm also being asked to assist with business strategy, particularly in the healthcare and science vertical, and also to help with uh, developing client relationships, deepen, deepening existing relationships that we have, and building bridges to new ones. Uh, a personal passion that I hope we'll get into uh, um, later on is uh, creating cultures of health. Uh, previously, I'd served as a a global medical leader for General Electric and one of my responsibilities there was uh, maintaining the health and safety of the workforce uh, around the globe. Uh, I'm looking forward to an opportunity to contributing to the strategies inside of Thomson Reuters to keep the workforce healthy and well. I'm very much looking forward to a panel that I'll be participating uh, in uh, tomorrow uh, which uh, will delve into the issues around implementing the health care reform package recently passed by Congress. If you think about it, uh, there are really three component parts uh, to uh, this implementation process. Uh, first off is insurance reform, which uh, as uh, Dr. Uh, David Cutler at Harvard has suggested, is perhaps the easiest of the steps. Uh, next along the way, is uh, the concept of expanding access. And so over a number of years, culminating in 2014, uh, the vast, vast majority of the American population will have some form of coverage. And then uh, thirdly, and perhaps the most difficult uh, component part, uh, which it will be uh, mostly uh, uh, de developed uh, it, uh, over the next few years through pilot programs, is to figure out better ways to get the maximum value out, out of the healthcare expenditure. Of all of the sessions that I've attended, uh, I'd say there are two uh, concepts that um, I'll walk away with here uh, and uh, carry with me going forward. One is the uh, plight of women uh, across the globe. Uh, and I was not as well informed about that as I perhaps should have been. I did have a chance actually when I was in India to spend some time in a, what in essence was a rehabilitation uh, unit for young women who had been picked up off the street. And so I've had some personal exposure and, um, and actually made personal contribution uh, to that rehabilitation center. But I didn't realize um, the magnitude of the issue and that was brought to my attention during this festival and I'm thankful for that. Uh, also, I uh, very much enjoyed uh, the presentation uh, by Sir uh, Ken Robinson as he talked about uh, the uh, reform of health, of um, education that's really necessary. Uh, he spoke more about personalizing and customizing uh, the uh, educational track for each child. And he showed a film from the Blue Man Group uh, who uh, are building their own school. And in there, there was a quote from one of the founders of the Blue Man Group who said that their school is being built with the idea that every child is a rocket and all we have to do is find the fuse.